Congratulations from everyone on the Arbel Committee. Can you tell us what was your first reaction when you heard the news that you'd won the 2021 Arbel Prize? Um, I was uh, very happy to hear it. I was somewhat surprised and uh, of course I felt uh, very honoured. You've described your field, computational complexity theory, as revolutionising technology and science. How is it doing this? Uh, computational complexity and the theory of computation, theory of algorithms in general, is charged with understanding the laws of computation, what can and cannot be done and how efficiently. One just has to remember that algorithms and computation take place not just uh, inside computers or between computer systems, but actually everywhere in nature, in atoms, in matter, in uh, friends, in Facebook, um, prices in a network, in uh, economy, and uh, bacteria in a cell, uh, neurons in the brain. Uh, understanding and developing theories for these uh, major scientific questions require understanding the computations in these systems, the resources they take, and the understanding that we are developing in the theory of computation is essential. That's the connection to science and why it will revolutionize it and is revolutionizing it. Similarly with industry, uh, one has to remember that theory predates industry and technology often. During his definition of algorithm led to the uh, development of computers and the computer revolution that uh, von Neumann here at the Institute was an important part of in the early days. Uh, 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 the development of the theory of cryptography and secrets uh, was really what enabled uh, security systems and electronic commerce, and in fact the development, the, the growth of the internet because it had applications. Similarly, quantum computing and many other systems, uh, they all rely, uh, and in their guts you have all the know-how of algorithms and data structures that support them. The most famous open problem in theoretical computer science is whether or not P is equal to NP. What are your thoughts on when this might be resolved and in which way do you think it will be resolved? Well, I must uh, say something about the problem. Uh, you know, it's, it's one of the deepest intellectual questions ever asked. Uh, it's, you know, it became clearer and clearer that it is really about whether we can know everything we want to know, whether creativity can be automated, anything mathematicians or scientists do. Uh, can be done automatically. Uh, of course, it can be phrased technically as well. Uh, and uh, it's about whether or not there exist algorithms for certain problems that are that seem difficult. Uh, uh, yeah, it will be resolved. I don't know. It's uh, one of these very hard problems. Uh, I hope it's resolved in my lifetime. I'd like to know. I'm sh pretty sure it will be resolved in the negative, namely that uh, P is different than MP. There are hard problems that we, yeah, we cannot solve efficiently. Yeah.